Jesus' popularity was growing. In fact, he had uh, just performed a, a, a wonderful miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead. And it was from this particular miracle that people were, were coming to him in droves. People were so impressed with Jesus. And at the same time, the religious leaders were very concerned about this man, this man called Jesus. So it's Sunday, the first day of the week. And there's people everywhere. I mean, the crowd of people going to market, mothers with their crying infants, uh, people going out to work. And then all of a sudden, people, the crowd shifts and people see uh, Jesus coming into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. And as he was heading toward Jerusalem, he even saw a fig tree and he cursed the fig tree because it bore no fruit. And that was a picture of Jerusalem at that time. The Israelites, the people of God, they were bearing no fruit. And so Jesus is coming in on Jer in Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. And to a Jew, this is huge because it, it, it's a prophecy by Zechariah 9.9 9 that says, Behold your king coming on a donkey with salvation. And they really didn't know all of who he was, but there was such excitement, such popularity that he had, that they began to take off their cloaks and throw them before Jesus. And, and people are grabbing palm branches and putting those down before Jesus. Indicating that which is a person who is reigning. And his disciples start crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna, glory to God in the highest. And at the same time, the religious leaders were very concerned about this man. So the Pharisees came to Jesus and they said, tell the people to stop crying out. And Jesus basically says, even if I told them to stop, the rocks themselves would cry out. He'd been telling his disciples for a long time that he was to go to Jerusalem and he was going to die in Jerusalem because he was on his way to the cross.